My name is Latifa Kusain and I grew up in Cork Bay. The first people that arrived here basically was the Dutch because this was like a transit uh, 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 spot where goods were transported to Simonstown. The roads weren't good, so what they did, they kept the stores here in Cork Bay and then they used to use the little ships, boats, to take it around to Simonstown. So that was a Dutch influence and then with the abolishment of slavery from 1834 onwards, 1838, most of the slaves also came to settle here. The Filipinos settled here because their ship capsized and they found themselves on the shores of Cork Bay and they found that there was abundance of fish and um, so it was people also from St. Helena Bay, this was like a fishing community and um, the people that, we, that lived here, they many have sort of um, uh, sort of interracial ancestors, you know, Italian, Filipinos, the Della Cruzes, the Irispis, the Gomezes, us the Cousins, we're from Java, and, um, and then we had also many Afrikaans and, 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 and British people, our neighbours were, our neighbours were Italian, some of them were from, from London, from Kent in, in England, and, um, but this was like a grey area, you know, while everybody was living apart during apartheid, Kope lived in harmony. We didn't see each other in the colour, uh, we didn't colour each other in. Kweche books were started by my dad, George, about 30 years ago. Uh, he'd been a fisherman, uh, had a boat in the harbour for a number of years and was finding it increasingly hard. So he started dealing in junk basically and it developed into this bookshop. Uh, what people can expect in Kwaka Books is hopefully a fairly unique and authentic experience. We deal in an eclectic number of things, mostly books, maps, prints and art, um, but pretty much everything we have is original and hopefully interesting and unusual. Uh, I think Cork Bay has, you know, it's become a really like a trendy place. It's, a, it's always been a cool place as far as I'm concerned. Uh, a lot of other people have caught on and as a result, there are great restaurants, there's an interesting mix of people, it's busy, it's vibey and it's a fun place to be. Uh, my name is Simon Curtis. I'm a bookseller from Cork Bay. Brass Bell is an institution in Cape Town. Uh, been around for 40 years this year. So the building itself, the original one, was actually a swimming pavilion, and that goes back to 1936. Yeah, the cuisine's broken up into predominantly seafood. Uh, it's obviously our, our standard fare, uh, from hay calamari, seafood platters. Uh, we have off offerings of ribs, burgers, uh, and pizzas. Uh, my name is Gary Riley. I'm the general manager of the Brass Bell. I think uh, Cork Bay, the, mo the most thing that I enjoy about running this guest house is the people itself. Uh, as it's such a beautiful village, it attracts a certain kind of guests. And these are al almost, almost nice people that you like to work together with. So that makes it so special. So um, I think originally the, the main house of the guest house was the mayor, as much as heard, but then was converted in Chartfield Hotel. I think in that time, in this hotel was here, there was about uh, 28 hotels in the False Bay site here in Musenberg up to Simonstown. One of the more famous ones was uh, New King's Hotel, which is just next to us, that used to be the sister hotel of the Mount Nelson. Well, the nice thing about Cork Bay is we have almost no franchises. I hope that's going to stay that, like that. We have very unique restaurants, unbelievable unique, unique sh shops. We have a bakery. We have a lot of artists here. We have uh, two schools in Cork Bay. We have a theater. It's, uh, so we, uh, we have a, a big variety of offerings, uh, which, which makes this place so special, apart from being on the sea and on the mountain. Hi, I'm Andreas Florian Blochliger. My name is Tony Trimmel. 
Um, and I am a descendant of the Filipino families that arrived here 160 years ago. Throughout the years, Kokpo is known as a fishing sort of paradise. Uh, the bay that we um, are situated in, called Falls Bay, it was dubbed the Blue, the Blue Dam, uh, in Afrikaans, the Blue Dam, because of the bluish Mediterranean water that uh, frequently came inside the bay. Cork Bay got its name because three free burgers were given a contract to burn shells which they found on Cork Bay Reef um, and those shells were, were burnt in little kilns and they used the lime from that to build houses and to send through to the castle um, for building purposes there and that's kalk means lime um, and in, in, uh, initially called Kalkhoven by but then changed to Kork Bay. My name is Tracy, I come from a, a family of seafaring men um, in Kork Bay. My family have lived here for, since the 1800s. Um, I do walking tours from Kork Bay Harbour um, and around through the fishermen's flats. Kork Bay is the same quaint fishing village that it's always been since the 1800s. You can still come to Cork Bay and go to the harbour and support the fishermen by buying a fresh, filleted fish. Modern Cork Bay is old Cork Bay with a little extra added.